Alright, what's up everyone? No matter Weapon Finder here, and today we're gonna be playing a bit more of the Akeleng Flora 2. But yeah, I mean, in the previous video I did ask, should I make the fully upgraded nail gun? And a lot of people like the idea, so that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today, and on, on top of that, gonna be also reading you what they actually changed on it, because that's something I didn't do in the Halloween update. So yeah, what are the current stats of the Vlad 1000 nail gun? I mean, the base damage has been increased from 25 to 30. And the number of nails fired in spray mode has been reduced from 8 to 7. On top of that, spread of nails in spray mode is reduced by 14%. And the fire rate of the single fire mode has been increased by 33%. And nail penetration is increased from 2 to 3, that means that you'll be piercing three cysts instead of two. But yeah, basically back in the day, yeah, the nail gun was pretty freaking pointless and they just kept on buffing it to the point where it's actually a viable weapon. But yeah, today we're gonna be playing on Krampus Slayer and I'm just gonna be demonstrating the rail gun. yeah, the rail gun, exactly, the nail gun on the Berserker, oh. because the nail gun is originally way. for that dude, and road. if it's gonna perform oh, well on the Berserker, then it's most likely gonna perform Berserker. even better on the support, because it's gonna have more damage bonuses. But yeah, this is what I like doing for Wave 1 on the Berserker, fair enough, I said that in the previous episode, but you get the point. Oh, that's a Krampus somewhere, I do believe, because he just puked mass. Oh yeah, there he is. Okay, you're getting bullet fun. Oh, he just exploded. But yeah, a lot of people been actually using the nail gun on the Berserker and... I still find it a little bit awkward for him. I mean, not for bosses. Bosses, it's just go up close and personal and just like shoot how much you can. And that's pretty much GG. But I mean, in between waves, it is a little bit awkward. But I mean, if you get like used to it and play it more and more, then you're gonna eventually get used to on what you have to do with it, so... Yeah, let's see this shit. Okay, elves, I'm just gonna go and light attack your asses. Easy clap, and we got our right here. We what? Okay, that's what what should have happened. Oh, we got another one. Easy. But yeah, I mean, for me personally, the Berserker should be all about, you know, close combat. But I mean, for bosses, sometimes close combat is gonna result in you getting a freak annihilated. Oh, we got a pistol here, very cool. So, yeah, trader, let's go, sell that, sell that, and get myself a good old-fashioned Vlad 1000 nail gun. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna, like, upgrade it once, and then just, like, reload it as much as I can, and I'm just gonna go for some ammunition. But, yeah, the way you're supposed to use the nail gun is just leave it for big Zeds. Because for trash Zeds, yeah, you're just gonna be most likely using a melee weapon. But, I mean, for, like, a group of freaking spooders, yeah, this thing is also gonna be very freaking epic. So, yeah, let's see what the nail gun is actually gonna do. I mean, fair enough, this thing has single fire and spray mode. Single fire is... For me personally, pretty freaking useless, because I do prefer the spray, but I mean single fire. I mean, it could be handy for like husks and EDRs and shit like that. But I mean, for the most part, spray is where it's at. And that's exactly why. I mean, fair enough, you're gonna be like burning through ammunition if you're always gonna be using spray mode, but... I mean, you have like a melee weapon as a backup, right? So it doesn't really matter if you like run out of ammunition. Okay, stupid ass stalkers, man. Go show say siren. Wait, why did I just use a knife? Ah, screw it, man. Easy. But yeah, man, overall, the Berserker, it is one of the best perks in the game. It can, you know, withstand its own. And giving him even more freaking firepower. Yeah, this thing's just gonna be a freaking beast. Like, what are your plans, man? Oh my god, the fact that you can, like, run with this thing. It, it's just good. Because I do remember back in the old days, yeah, you had this movement speed with the Berserker like standard, and then once you had a nail gun, you were just sprinting like this. And that was really freaking awkward, but now, you're actually fast with it. And that's why I'm gonna be using this thing from now on. I don't know exactly on what loadout I'm gonna put this thing in, but I guess we shall see. I mean, my Berserker loadout is pretty much just like the bad lags and the homo clobber. So, pff, I don't know where the hell to put this thing. I mean, I do believe Static Strikers in this thing could be good for, like, bosses and shit like that, because Static Strikers is, like, a free EMP, and this thing does giga freaking damage. Oh my god, just, like, one shot's right here. So, I mean, fair enough, it's, like, a seven shot, technically, but don't really care. Oh, that's what I thought. Dude, it's just so good for just, like, killing these... No medium zeds and the heaters. Yep, nail gun safe to say, it's pretty good. I mean, if you watch my channel for a very long time, yeah, I would most likely back in the day say that, you know, the nail gun is trash. 
than for the most part it was. But I mean, nowadays, yeah, this thing is kind of like a meta weapon. But I mean, you guys know me, I don't play always, you know, meta meta for this game, because I could care less. But I mean, yep, the nail gun is one of those weapons that is just... You know, strong. Okay, can I upgrade it to tier 5? Nope, I can't. Okay, maybe I can if I just, like, go for some shit on the floor. But then I'm not gonna have enough ammo, so I'm just gonna sell that. I just ought to fill it, and here we go. So yeah, we have 3 out of 4. Let's see how this thing is gonna perform. Hopefully I'm gonna get, like, some flesh bones or scrakes so I can show this thing off. And for the most part, it's just gonna kill them like nothing. But yeah, I mean, Christmas maps in Killing Floor 2, I mean, they're just, like, the best. Not sure why they didn't make one this year. Fair enough, they said they're like running out of money and shit, but I mean if they don't have money to make like a proper map Yeah, I don't think Killing Floor is gonna be receiving any good ass updates Anytime soon, but yeah, I'm kind of hoping for 2020 to be like a redemption for Killing Floor 2, but I think it's gonna be even more of a downward spiral, so I mean it's safe to say that you know 2020 is gonna be like the last year for Killing Floor 2, so Yeah, rest in pepperonis was fun while it lasted. I mean, I could be wrong, and 2020 is gonna be like the best year for Killing Floor 2, but... I mean, I guess we'll see, right? But yeah, I mean, single fire mode for this thing is not like actually all that exciting for me. I know a lot of people like to be conservative in this game. I don't really, I just like go, shoot as much as I can, and if I fail, then I fail. But I mean, just like going and just like shooting this like single fire mode is just boring for me, I just like going around. Wreaking havoc, just like this. You just kill the cookie and the right ears. And it's easy, freaking peasy. Oh my god, look at this shit. Oh, I missed. Shit. Didn't matter, though. But yeah, I mean, nail gun nowadays. It's just... Just this, man. You just go around, kill everything you can find. And that's basically it. Easy clap. I mean, even if you, like, miss a little bit, it's still gonna do something, because, you know, those nails actually bounce around the map. So it's even better. So yeah, this weapon is kind of like a noob weapon in a sense. And that was a scrake apparently gone. I do believe two shots actually kill him in solo. But I kind of like missed the whole head. But I mean, he's still dead anyway, so... And we got some right tears and I have to reload, because... I mean, the only thing I have to get used to this thing is the long-ass freaking reload. But I mean, it's not even all that have bad, so... Ah, uh, no, man. This thing's looking pretty fresh. Well then, trader, let's see what you can actually do with a tier 5 nail gun. But yeah, since this skill doesn't actually do anything for, you know, the nail gun, I'm just gonna use resistance. Because, I mean, this thing only applies to melee weapons because, you know, melee attack speed and melee damage. So yeah, the nail gun is not a melee weapon, so I might as well just go and use resistance to make myself all that more OP. Well, then here we go with wave 4 out of 4. Let's see what we can possibly do. Oh, and we already get a barrage of spiders, but no worries. Nail gun is a clappage. Okay, what are we getting? Oh, a lot of elves. Oh, they're just gonna get, like, cycled in my friggin' nails. Like, I'm just gonna use a single shot. I missed. Does it matter? Probably not, because I can just switch back to the freaking spread and everything is as good as dead. Okay, just give me some flash bones. Because this shit's getting a little bit too easy currently. Okay. Oh, Edars. Okay, that's not easy. I'm just gonna go hop down. Because I can't be bothered. We should do stand your ground. Ask who stand your ground. I mean, the only time stand your ground is actually useful is if you play long games, like early on. His money is a little bit of a problem, but even then, it's not even all that mandatory, so... Yeah, I know, man. Okay, we got an elf. Easy clap. Oh, ammunition. Something I'm gonna be needing left and right. Okay, there's like an either just like shooting me from the back. Thanks, man. Dude, where the hell the flash bones at? Here we go. Not sure exactly where the hell they are. But they spawned. Okay, of course, annoying as Cedars. Here we go. Is that... Oh, that is a flash bond. <laughs> Very cool. It's he raged. Oh, he's not raged yet. Oh, there he goes. And I need to reload, and a stalker is just clapping my ass. Not appreciate. Oh, he's coming down. Okay, let's see what this shit actually does. Oh, my God. Actually, man. I think that's just, like, an Eviscerator, pretty much, but this thing has more functionality than the Eviscerator. Oh, my God, this rage is dead. Do what? Nailgun chill. But yeah, I did say this in the past. I don't know what the hell their obsession is with buffing the freaking nail gun. I mean, they buffed it once and it was like pretty much alright back then. But then they just like buffed it again. I don't know why they want to make this like the best weapon in the game. But that's their plans currently. 
Okay, I need to reload. But I mean, you just like bash him. And he's dead. Okay, let's use single fire because that is exciting as hell. No, oh, just like a rage to scrake. Okay, that's not single fire. That's actually the way you're supposed to play this weapon. Just bursting everything. Okay, let's Z and it's gonna be a fucking scrook. A dead one though. Well then, into the portal we go. And for the boss, I'm kind of just like hoping for a page cleric. Because that's gonna be... Yeah, piss take. Okay, sell that, auto fail. Wait, what can you have with this shit? Oh, static strikers. Do static strikers for the boss and the blood nail gun. Like a tier 5 one. Oh my god, it's just too good, man. If you have that combination, yeah, the patriarch is just instantly dead. Okay, boss, what are we gonna get? Patriarch? Oh, we got matriarch. Dude, I like how she just says something and then just like this awkward freaking silence. Oh, there she is. Okay, did, did you miss? Dude, just look at that freaking damage. Matriarch. Oh my god. I mean, the Matriarch, it's not even like that much of a difficult boss. You just go behind corners and... I mean, that's it. Pretty much. But can I... Now she's doing something up close. Do I care? Dude, actually killing like a mech which is like freaking nails. I mean, how does that even work? Or should I say, should that even work like at all? Oh, she's spawning you. Know, that's gonna be annoying, right? Yep, that is gonna be giga annoying. But I mean, I do have cover and I do have an OP freaking weapon in hand. So this should be very freaking easy. I mean, if you asked me like a year ago on what I think about the nail gun, I would say, why is it in the game? But if you ask me what I think about it now, yeah, this thing is like just a tiny little bit OP. J just a little bit. Okay, I do need some like ammo though. Oh, she's burnt me for like two shield. Thanks, Matriarch. Really appreciate those shenanigans you have going on. Okay. He does. Okay, just like go directly in. Yeah, there you go. Oh, did I make you whiff? Oh, and there goes your armor. I mean, she still has a freaking cannon, but... Uh, should I care? Okay, need some ammo, here we go. Should I refill my two shield? Ah, screw it, man. Maybe she's gonna do, like, some epic attacks later on, and I'm gonna die to that. Okay, what are your plans? Oh, thank god she can't, like, shoot through the, through the trader. Because I still remember back in the days when the patriarch could shoot you through that shit. But yeah, man, matriarch, if you know how to avoid her, yeah, she's pretty much just like the patriarch. Oh, and this is where she comes... Comes in very freaking poorly. Because she does literally nothing. Poor matriarch, man. But yeah, man, once her cannon is gone, yeah, this boss is not really all that difficult. But I mean, once she has that cannon, she's kind of a little bit, you know, not like Hans. Because Hans is like always aggressive. But she definitely goes in second place for being a hard ass freaking boss. Okay, where the hell's ammunition, man? I need some. Dude, there's actually no ammunition on the map. What do you mean? Tell me we got a shovel so I can just go and whack her with a shovel. Oh, ammunition! I swear to god, I was just like checking this like a second ago. Nope, apparently not. Okay, Edar just gonna shoot you with a single. Oh, look at this shit, man. I just like shot her in her mechanical arm. That didn't do like any damage. Supposed to shoot her in. in the head. Oh my god, that shit can be parried. It's just just like the Patriarch. Oh, ammunition. Very cool. Okay, can I make you whiff? Nope, you're just gonna do that. Uh, cool. Yo. Okay, did some damage to her. Oh, more ammunition. Just what we need. Okay, EMPs. Oh, now she's on her last phase. Oh. Clapped me with her claw. Okay, now I'm getting like ammunition like left and right. Yeah, thanks, man. Oh, I didn't even see you coming coming here. Actually try to bamboozle me with a patriarch attack. Okay, one more ammo box and we should be good to go. I mean, I could just like go and poke her with a knife. Yeah, thanks for that free parry, but I got resistance on. Okay, ammunition, please. Where the hell you at? I've been playing this shit for like 18 freaking minutes. Oh, and the Edar just went bye-bye. Wait, can you block that shit with a knife? Okay, can you do that grabby thing? No, don't do that. Don't be a patriarch. Do the grab. Yep, you can even parry it with a knife. Ow. Bro. Okay, finally got some ammo and I'm just gonna Bruh. whoop her with a single fire one. 
Yep. Tell me fair enough, I was fighting the mage here, like this was not like the best boss to kill with a nail gun because she's more, I know, easier to kill with, you know, gunslinger than sharpshooters. But I mean, overall, she was still pretty freaking simple. Oh, woodland fill test, nice one. It was this hell nerd, okay, it was. But yeah, do let me know in the comments about your opinions on the nail gun. Do you actually use it or are you just gonna start using it now because... I mean, as you saw here, this thing's actually good. But yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.